We're gonna go meet my friend Ricky here at the ruins of St. Paul. Hi. <laughs> and we're um, we're gonna go explore an area of Macau. Where are you this taking place? her? Where are you taking me? Actually, you know, I'm hoping that once we're there, you can tell me what it's called because I actually don't know the name of it. But before we get going, we actually just left the ruins of St. Paul. So people kind of get an idea of where this area is. And the reason that I think this area is interesting is it feels like this like very... Um, well, you, know what, you know what, you should show people the uh, decoration. Oh, yeah. the this is as well effectively Portuguese tree, right? Yeah, you can see the, the, the patterns like the Portuguese style. Yeah, and one of the things that I learned is um, <clears throat> this is not a chicken, this is a rooster. <laughs> Don't tell Portuguese people that this is a chicken. Yeah. It's a very uh, sensitive subject. <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself so the people back home know uh, know who you are and you know what you've been up to. So, uh, like you introduced me, Ricky. Yeah. So I um, I teach English sometimes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, um, and you have an Instagram, which I will I link below. Ricky, I was mentioning to you that this area feels very up and coming. Like. You got like gift shops and coffee shops here. This is another coffee shop. And so I was asking you about how long has this area been changing? Because I don't think it's always been like this, right? Yeah, I think it's turned into a touristy place like two years ago. Okay. It used to be like a normal street. Mm. Like, you know, you, you, you wouldn't see that, you know, many like shops or, or tourists. Yeah. Around. You can notice like, for example, this building. Hey, what's up guys? Yeah. The inside is still very like a traditional looking building. It's got the brickwork. And you know, this used to be, uh, used to be a home effectively, right? Before they turned it into, into a business. Now it's a coffee shop. You know, I wanted to try this place out, but it looks like it's closed. Now, do you know what this is? Are you familiar with this? Uh, well, I can read the Cantonese, but I'm not sure that is, you know, as a product. It says, well, it says salted <clears throat> citrus pickled, and I see they got the mandarin fruit there. Um, so I'm assuming it's a salted mandarin, which sounds very strange to me. So not everything's open yet. Maybe on the way we circle back, we'll, we'll find something to eat and we'll circle back and see if we can- uh, Yeah, sounds see good. If we can get something. Uh, Check this out. I always thought this was very interesting. It's talk about a temple. Is this, this is a temple, isn't it? But I mean like, okay, Ricky, why don't you try to, uh, why don't you step into that temple so people can see so what's, what's going on there? <laughs> Look at that. And that looks like a house, but this little area, this little, it's not like an entrance to a home, which I thought originally was. Yeah. It's actually an entrance to just a small like altar and like a small um, temple. But uh, Ricky, what's, what's interesting to me here is I don't actually see a god at the temple. Oh, um, maybe that's what's written there. Um, interesting. There is the, um, here's what you would burn the uh, offering, like the money. Yeah. Right? Which is pretty interesting. So just like this little corner, little crevice in Macau that people will like pop into, do a worship, and then be on their be on their way, right? They do have the um, the little statues here, but these are unique. I've never seen. They're all they're all very different to me. So it's all very unique. All right, I'll, let's let's. It's very cramped in here. I can almost I can almost yeah. not turn around Watch in out. it. Yeah. <laughs> That's very cool. Well, why do we try the uh, sure. the, the coconut? Um, they have like a coconut ice cream. Ice cream. Hi, those are now. Uh, Coco's Hung Heng. So we got some coconut ice cream. The shopkeeper said it's freshly made, so he said it, it should be a little bit soft. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. All right. Coconut ice cream. How much does that cost? 50. 50, so that's so be... 25 each, which is about $3 US. So, let's see. How does it taste? Like it? I do like it. It tastes like a very fresh coconut. Mm. Yeah, it tastes like, you know how you eat the, um, you eat the inside of a coconut after you've had it served to you? It tastes just like that. And it's not like, 
what's interesting about it is like in the US coconut ice cream seems to be overly sweet but the sweetness here isn't overpowering yeah, it's quite it's nice it's about right yeah people to, to yeah they should just definitely try this out I had never seen this and because like it when you walk by it it doesn't yell like um, coconut ice cream right so for people like me who can't read the Cantonese I would never uh, I'd never be aware that you this know is what? What that's sell. the only flavor they sell really they have one flavor that's all they sell I'm <laughs> so curious to know what their story is right because like how do you survive off one flavor <laughs> This looks like it's been around for quite a bit also. Yeah, uh, why don't we check this out? What's the name of this shop? Can you, uh... uh see Hang? See Hang. Oh, it's in English, oh, yeah, right above it. Yeah, try translate it there. I yeah. see that. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be hard. She's right on the, uh, right on the edge here, huh? Hello. So we've got um, like garlic, uh -huh. seaweed, uh -huh. wasabi, wasabi, spicy, and abalone. I could do the seaweed and I could do the garlic, but once you start getting into the, I'm not a big fan of wasabi. Let's right. give it a shot. Well, you can do opt-out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna try all of them. It's always good to try everything once. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, I, I think I got all of them. Right. I think I have. Okay, so check it out. I got all. Oh. Sorry, I lost a couple. <laughs> I, it's hard for me to say. I, I want to say it's spicy because it's red. Oh, I think this one's definitely the seaweed. This one's the seaweed. Spicy. Because I see little seaweed flecks in it. So let's give it a shot. That's good. Yeah. That's quite good. Crispy I like that. And a bit, a bit spicy. Not, not, not too spicy. This one, I'm gonna guess it's the garlic one. Yeah, I think it's the garlic too. All let's right. try that. Let's give it a shot. Definitely the garlic. <laughs> that one. You like it? Might as well eat garlic cloves. <laughs> <laughs> this one just, I'm gonna go with just spicy. Okay, let's give it a shot. Mm. Wasabi. It's not wasabi. It's not wasabi? It's okay, all right, let's keep going. I think now I'm gonna try the wasabi one. Best for the last. Give it a try. Mm. Cheers. Yep, that's wasabi. That's wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cancel out some of the wasabi with the garlic. <laughs> Ready to head back? Yeah. Still closed, bro. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to come back and uh, try it a different time. We have a good reason to come back. <laughs> yeah, so hope you like this tour of this uh, little offshoot from the ruins of St. Paul. Definitely an area that's changing, that's developing, and that you should come out to see. And uh, maybe you can tell them to like and subscribe, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye-bye.